Folsom, this is a good, uh, this is a good comment here. Just bought another cold wallet today. I try not to have too much in one wallet. So this is actually a conversation I had yesterday with a guy. He was asking me if I wanted to, and he, he might be watching the show today, but he was asking me if he should be buying two cold cards for each of his stacks, like non-KYC and KYC. And I said, within every cold card, you can actually just spin up like, I think it's 9,999 new wallets out of that one cold card. So the cold card essentially just acts as like your signing device. Without that, without the device, you can't actually um, move any Bitcoin out of it. So you have to physically have your cold card there. You have to type in your code. You have to sign the transaction. You have to load it onto your spare wallet. And that's how the Bitcoin is sent. So correct me if I'm wrong here, but I, I just don't think that there's a reason to hold more than one wallet or one device, I should say. The numerous wallets are highly recommended. You never want to have your full Bitcoin stack in one single wallet, especially if you have some non-KYC Bitcoin. You want to keep that completely separate. But I, I don't think that you need a separate device for that. I think you can spin up up to 10,000 wallets within one single cold card. So every time you generate a new wallet, you got 12 or 24 brand new fresh wallet in there. I don't think that you need a separate device for that. The, the device is just to sign it. So, I mean, if you, I guess if you want to spread yourself out and limit your ability for somebody to find one device and make you sign into that, I guess it makes sense. But at the same time, I think that you're probably more than okay with one device with multiple wallets generated from that cold card. So you can spin up, like I said, 10,000 different wallets within one device, and you can connect those to wherever, Sparrow wallet, you can open it up in your Phoenix wallet, it just generates the words of the wallet, and then you decide when to send Bitcoin to it and how much to send, right? And yes, this is a good point over here. If you want a multi-signature setup, you need at least two hardware wallets. I would say three. Uh, a two hardware wallet multi-signature, I don't think would be advisable. Wouldn't, uh, it'd be a lot of risk there. <clears throat> Go to two of three at least, and uh, don't rush into it either, because it's, it's not the... It's not complicated, but when you're get first getting into Bitcoin and if you don't have like a huge stack yet, just start very slow. Start with a sing single signature cold card, up upgrade to a passphrase, 25 words, and then eventually over time go into a multi-signature. The problem with that though, is you actually have to have people that you can trust who are in different ge geographical locations for a multi-signature to make sense. And I don't think that a whole lot of people have that. But it's coming. We're going to have some really good options for people this fall in terms of keeping your Bitcoin safe within a multi-signature using encryption and the super backed wallet. So we're going to have more information on that as well. So end of the day, yeah, I mean, if your stack is big, I highly recommend multi-signature 100%. The nice thing about multi-signature is that it reduces your single point of failure. And uh, But I, I still think that if you're somebody who's still even if you had a big stack and you're not overly familiar with it and you're not willing to pay somebody to help you with it, uh, I would just lean towards like a, a single signature with a passphrase, which is a, a beautiful thing. And you can use that as a decoy wallet. So if somebody were to break into your house, you have your original wallet, your 24 word wallet there that was generated. And uh, they're, they're holding you at gunpoint. They make you send all the Bitcoin in the wallet. You put like 5% of your Bitcoin into the decoy wallet and little do they know you have a passphrase somewhere else or in your hopefully not in your head but somewhere else and hidden behind that passphrase is a brand new 25 word wallet and that's where your stack is so these are the kind of things and this is where you know i would add value to people who are kind of newer to bitcoin uh, because that's stuff, that stuff's very important imagine somebody broke into your house and you had a decoy wallet set up and they they drained your wallet, which they thought was your whole stack of Bitcoin. But little do they know you had 95% hidden behind this passphrase, this decoy wallet. All things to, to consider here. <clears throat>